I think uh, if you look at our results and you look at uh, our performance, it's been one that's built uh, over time. It's a lot of R&D. It's a lot of work to, to, to write software. That's been a six, seven-year process at Oracle. It's been building a sales force. It's educating the sales force. It's creating awareness with customers. Uh, we've just done a lot of work. And it's, Jim, it's been over a long period of time. And I think it's shown up in our results. I mean, to your point, we're one of the few, few cloud companies that, frankly, we're not only getting bigger, but our growth rate is actually accelerating uh, at the same time. And I think that's because of all the things I described. Better training, better sales, more salespeople, lots of great products in R&D, some good acquisitions, and altogether it's combined to this set of results. Well, let's talk about those acquisitions. The data logics, hardly even mentioned because it just came in December, the micros. These look like you're coming into some verticals that other companies have done. This reminds me of something you taught me, which is this seems like a turn off the oxygen Toto situation against some of the other guys that you're going against. Well, thank you for that, Jeff. Yeah, data logics is actually part of our whole effort to go into marketing automation. So we've tried to build out, Jim, two real differentiators in our cloud applications business, or if you will, SaaS, to have each application to be the absolute best at what it does, best at marketing, the best at HCM, the only ones in the market today with ERP uh, and EPM, the best at sales, and then at the same time to be the only one with a suite of capabilities. So we're building out both things. The fact that you now have a suite that you can get all of that from, from one company, and yet each app is the best that it can be. And data logics uh, fits in perfectly. It's a data company that provides very rich data set that actually uh, works with multiple of our, of our applications. Micros is actually a leader in the hospitality area, which is a key vertical uh, as part of our retail business. And uh, we're thrilled with, with both acquisitions. Mark, how's it working with your co-CEO, Safra, whom everybody has always loved as a CFO? Uh, and also with Larry Ellison, who was on the last conference call, kind of got on there and basically said, listen, we're taking no prisoners. We're killing everybody. What's that trio like? It's fun. I mean, I think, listen, you know, um, I've been doing this a long time. She's been doing this a long time. Larry's been doing this a long time. And I think we believe in the concept of a team. Uh, we're a team here. Uh, the titles may change a bit, uh, but in reality, it's a it's a team. And to be honest with you, Jim, it's it's just it's even more than the three of us. We have some some great leadership in our development organization, some great leadership in our sales organization. And as you know, when you run these big companies and you try to do things that uh, that frankly take a lot of work, it's great to have a great team around you. And I'm very fortunate to be surrounded by just a terrific uh, group of people here.